Good evening, campers. Howdy doody, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> if you ain't been here before, it's nuts here. I'm Kerry, and I'm guided by your angels and mine. And I'll give you a read on downloads I get, and also guided with my cards. And then see what's going on. It is karma here, guys, normally. I say it's not always, but it is most of the time. But I'm going to bed soon, so I thought I'd do you a little evening read. I hope you've had a good day, guys. Right, we've got pathological liars again, these women. So you could be dealing with women or a mother or daughter that's just jealous of other females. So that will resonate with you. So I did shuffle these a minute ago, but I am going to shuffle again. These are my pink and blue cards, and I do make them myself. And I just get downloads or things that I hear or things that I see written down. I just put them on my cards. And then, um, yeah, and then we get guided. So let's begin and see what's going on. I hope you're well, guys. I'm really tired lately. So normally when I say stuff, it does resonate with you. But um, there's no full moon. I thought there might be. I had to double check because it feels like there is. But it's not until the 17th of October. This pole's getting so big now, and I've got such little hands. Right, like, angels and ancestors, guide me, please. And we'll have some cards. Oh, we'll have some cards for the collective. They're flying out. I might halve these guys, you know. I thought I set it up like this tonight, and then... Right, showing you their bad ways. Yeah, this is what put you off, this person. Them showing you. And what they were really like and the way they was acting or acting towards you. I think this person thought showing you their bad ways would make you want them even more. What a strange little person. <laughs> so the karmic is stalking and harassing them now. So the person you're dealing with could have split up with the karmic now. So the karmic partner is now harassing and stalking them so they could be following them around sending like texts phone calls just turning up at their house so whoever you're dealing with had a karmic partner so it doesn't mean they're not with them all together it means just at the moment they're not so someone's realizing who you are <clears throat> right so i feel that this person tried to escape you to go with this other person or woman, it says pathological liars for women. So I reckon this person you was dealing with went off with these other females because they thought they were going to get some material gain once they discovered your spiritual truth. So your spirituality might have frightened this person and they might have wanted to escape. Because you might have actually predicted some of the things that are happening now, I'm feeling. So this person obviously didn't mind showing you their bad ways at all. Yeah, this person is very dishonest, guys, and very corrupt. And you're better off moving fo like forward without this person. Because this person... Um, it's probably got a lot of karma as well, being with this karmic. So if they've split up with this karmic, the karmic's now harassing them. Oh, how the tables turn. So the karmic could either be a woman or a man. It doesn't say, but we are dealing with women that are very jealous and tell lies. They could tell lies on females in general or just tell lies about you or the person you was with. It's not coming up yet, but I feel this person could be a neighbour. They could be someone that lived by you or near you, and they might have done a lot of gossiping with your neighbours as well, unless your person's run off with a neighbour, which is coming to my mind as well. All right, angels, let's have some cards, please, and see what we've got tonight. Sorry, guys, these cards are so big and I don't want too many um, falling out. Right. They only come out when they want to, guys. Right, so if you like the video, 
I'm grateful when you like them and I am because it helps me move around and just help other people. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe guys. Because a lot of people watch me and they haven't subscribed. There's about 5,000 I think watched me a little while ago. And then, um, you don't know what you're missing out on. Right, so you did all the hard work and you did. This person, they think they've made you. They do. They feel like you're their masterpiece because of what they put you through. You had to work very hard. This person might have been um, trying to stop you moving forward. And they just told you loads of lies. They can't. They could be in like criminal activities as well. But enough is enough now with this person. And it is. And this person could be an Aries. Or you could be an Aries. So your strength is out of this world. Now I'm feeling that this person is realising that you've got a lot of strength. And that you are out of this world. And this person probably feels that they're not better off now. That they move forward without you. So you could be an Aries or this person could be an Aries. So this person is realising now that... I think this person is realising that you're not from this world. That's what I'm getting. That you are um, very spiritual and that you escaped the material world. And that's what helps you discover your um, spirituality. They don't want anyone to like you no they don't this person doesn't like anybody liking you so what they do when people like you they get jealous and then they slander you so then people don't like you so they cause trouble on purpose they do they cause trouble on purpose so this person doesn't like the fact that you always seem to come across like you fall in shit and come up smelling of roses so this person might feel that everything you do isn't hard work and they done all the hard work and they feel like they're entitled to something or entitled to you. Because this person, I don't feel, actually realises how much strength you had to have to literally, like, come out of the situation that you was in. And they don't like the fact that people like you. No, that's why they're jealous. So they're probably jealous females that get jealous that people like you more than them. You could be better looking than this person or people. That's why these people try and cause... Um, trouble so this person thinks that when they go to a relationship it actually um, saves them so they might go from one relationship to another so if they have split up with a karmic they could be in another relationship now with another one of these pathological liars so there could have been a few women that this person dealt with you might already know this as well this was what might have put you off this person the amount of relationships that they've actually had since being with you yeah i feel you have forgiven this person because we all have sinned in some way or another but if you don't forgive this person basically then you sort of um have to wonder how god forgave you that's the way i look at it forgiving the other person is for you it's not for them yeah look gossiping neighbors so this could be gossiping friends or neighbors who talk about everybody's lifestyle, how they live in their houses, how they run their businesses, even if they haven't got a business. They just chat about everybody's past and everybody's business in general. So we've got some gossips here that could be a group of women that you're dealing with or what you have dealt with. Oh, this energy does my head in. It seriously does. But I know you like to have a nose. It is only an energy, guys. <clears throat> like I always tell you, it's only like what they're feeling and thinking at the moment. No, you're very highly protected by God and you are. So God doesn't play around about you. Not when it comes to you, he doesn't. <clears throat> no. Right, so God doesn't play around about you. So, something might have happened with your bank or your bank cards or someone might have tried to take bank details off you or they was checking through bank statements or looking at your personal paperwork or files. Right, so there might be, there's a choice that you're making. So, you might be choosing to change up all your bank details or you might have had to have done that. I think there's a choice this person's making like because now they're not with the karmic but it says there's a choice there is a choice that you are making unless you're choosing not 
to go back with this person if this person does try to return to you i'm feeling right angels guide me and see what else we've got for the collective and this energy just doesn't go away but it won't for that's too many angels it won't for a long while yet i'm going to halve these again these are getting so big guys seriously it's because i keep adding to them but it is a good thing but right, this person's at their breaking point now and they are because they know that they've messed up that's why this person knows and they might even be breaking so I feel they might be breaking up with somebody or they're at their breaking point or neighbours and friends might be at their breaking point with this person. So this person might feel like you've got something to prove to them or they might feel like they've got something to prove to you. This person, yeah, thinks... like If they were speaking to you, they'd say, like, you think you're so clever, but I'm more clever than you. So this person might have tried to prove to you that they was a lot more cleverer than you, but basically they're not. They're a little bit dumb. So this person might have thought they was very clever going through your bank details and um, checking all your personal paperwork, but it was a very dumb thing to do. Right, so... Yeah, this person done this because they was annoyed that you rejected them. Because they created an illusion with you, this person did. So you was, I feel like you was annoyed with this person because they created an illusion with you. And even after this person created an illusion, they still thought that you wanted them. So you might not be getting a lot of sleep at the moment. You might be getting broken sleep or you might have lack of sleep. This person might have actually kept you awake, I'm feeling. Might have wanted you to feel broken if you didn't have sleep. Maybe this person liked to wake you up or keep you awake knowing when you needed sleep. Maybe this is what annoyed you. This person might have done this when they felt rejected from you. So they created like this kind of thing. I'm feeling this person might have given you like um, sleepless nights as well from being rejected. You probably felt like you couldn't sleep and you was up all night. And you might have been trying to work out these illusions. See, this person could have also created an illusion that you still wanted them. As in, even if this person was sleeping around, they would still know that you didn't want them back. But they would tell people that you still wanted them. That's an illusion that this person created, I'm feeling. But this person did think or does think now that you think you're cleverer than them. Well, they're cleverer than you. But I'm afraid to say, um, Karmix, you're not that clever at all, really. If you was that clever, you wouldn't be getting all the karma, would you? So someone might be trying to access you for some spiritual wisdom because now they're realising that spirituality is working for you or it gives you a lot of wisdom. They might be trying to access like you or they might still be trying to access your bank details or personal paperwork this could have been what happened or what is happening now guys so this person is at their breaking point it's come out again so this person's at their breaking point because they know they've messed up so this person could be at their breaking point knowing that you know about this with bank details or friends or neighbors might actually tell you this whilst they're gossiping <clears throat> it might be what's going around. This might be why everyone's arguing. <clears throat> but there is a choice that you are making. So whatever choice you're thinking of making. Let's get something on that. On the choice you're making. So what choice is the collective making, angels? Whoa. Right, so you're making a choice on knowing your worth. Yeah, you made a choice now. You made a choice to know your worth. But somebody wants to know that you are worth it. But someone thought you wasn't even good enough to talk to. So you was dealing with a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini, but they thought you wasn't even good enough to talk to. And now they want you to know that you are worth it. So this doesn't make sense to me. So this person might have made you try and prove to them that you was worth it 
but they thought you wasn't even good enough to talk to. So you wasn't a choice for this person. And now this person's at their breaking point and they know that they've messed up. Oh, mate, these people are delusional, seriously. Wow, that's too many, that's too many. I might go into smaller cards in a minute because these cards are actually quite hard to shuffle. Right, this person needs to stop pretending who they are. So you walked away from this person. Even though you were still hurting, you still walked away with love for this person. So you could have still loved this person when you walked away, even though you knew, this person knew that you loved them. And then they acted like you wasn't good enough and thought they'd punish you by not even talking to you. You're better on your own, love. You are. You're better on your own. You thrive better on your own. And you do. I think you get more done on your own. <clears throat> and then you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. And you know you're good enough. Just because this person says that you're not. Yeah, because you just say what you like. And you like what you bloody well say as well. The universe likes the fact that you're speaking to them as well. And you're speaking to spirit. So someone's tired and exhausted now from trying to stop you moving on. So now they're, they're feeling it now. So they put so much effort into trying to stop you moving on. Now they're tired. That's why this person... Where's that card at? This person is not getting no sleep. So this is them. So this is them. So this person needs sleep. This person's not sleeping. They're up at night. Because now they're tired and exhausted. Because they tried to stop you moving on. And now it's doing their head in that they can't do anything to stop your progress. This person didn't know that you had hidden helpers. No, they didn't. They didn't know that you had the power. So you might have had three people around you helping you. Or you might have three guardian angels that are around you. So this person didn't know. That you had helpers. They didn't know. Or you could have had three friends or family members around you. I'm feeling you might still have three people around you trying to help you. Someone might be sticking up for you. Because they know how tired and exhausted you are moving on from this person. So this could have been angels or somebody you know. Yeah, this is a dirty old man with bad intentions. So this is an old man who's just dirty old man, probably quite pervy, and lives a double life. So this person's probably tired because they're a bit too old for their fun and games that they're doing. And um, they're exhausted trying to stop you moving on whilst still getting in relationships and sleeping around with other people. So there could either be three people involved in this who helped this person, I'm feeling as well, that were hidden, thank you, angels. So this person could have had three people helping them, I feel, trying to stop you moving forward, this old man. So it could be these women here. There could have been three women that this man was involved with. They could be friends, exes, or people that they're seeing. And now these people are not getting no sleep. Now this person you're dealing with has now broken up with one of these women. But I'm feeling they might be with another one of these women. <clears throat> and now the woman is now stalking them. Or man, put it where it fits. So now someone's walked away from this karmic now. And now they're hurting. So yeah, this person didn't know that you was actually the trap. Because they were so in their ego, they didn't realise that you was the trap to set this person up. Probably to stop this person doing this ever again to anyone else, I'm feeling. So someone wants to right a wrong with you. But someone who wants to right a wrong with you thinks you're very gullible. Yeah, see, this all worked out in your favour. This is what this person doesn't like. Because this all worked out in your favour. And you've practised self-love now. So you're loving yourself and you're healing. And this person didn't want you to love yourself or heal. So it's either this old man or these women didn't want you to heal. They might have caused you to have broken sleep, like I said. But they didn't realise that you now have trapped them. So you've either trapped them with the karmic or you've trapped them as in they can't have a relationship now 
they'll be just flitting in and out. Yeah, now they're realising who you are. Oh, yeah, they are. They're realising now that you're quite powerful. Yeah, it hurts this person now. Yeah, they're feeling it because this is what they wanted for you. This person could be hurting now because they're feeling the pain of when you wasn't with them and now they're feeling the pain. Now the karmic doesn't want them because the karmic could have got rid of this person, I'm feeling. Could be a mother figure. And then be careful because this person could be feeling heartbroken over this karmic that they went off with. So now they're getting harassed. But I feel this person might be hurting over this mother figure. And I do. So be careful that you won't be on the rebound, guys. Right. So. Yeah, see, someone doesn't know how much more they can take because they're back and forward all the time. They are. They're back and forward with this energy all the time. Or they could have been back and forth with you all the time. And then you just thought, I just don't know how much more of this I can take. But I feel this person doesn't like it because someone's back and forth with them now. And now it's making them, like, get in their ego because it feels like you didn't want them. Now the karmic doesn't want them. And now they're getting harassed like they was harassing you. Now the karmic that was harassing you with this person is now harassing them. Could be harassing them because they're going back and forward with other people. This karmic could know. See, God's running the show. Remember this, guys, that anything could happen. So this person's hurt now because they're feeling hurt like you. You're protected by the Holy Spirit and you are. You might work with the Trinity, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So you're very highly protected in your faith, keeping your prayers up. That's why blessings are coming to you and they are. And you need to remember that you're a blessing as well. And blessings are not always money, guys, and it's not. Blessings can be anything. could be like state of mind, having like freedom, just being able to have a clear head, being to have like even have your memory back. Anything is a blessing. Someone unlocks something that was in you by you meeting them. So you had to meet this person because it locks something inside you, um, unlocks something inside you. So you might have been a bit of a pushover, I'm feeling. And you needed someone to come in. I know it sounds horrible, but this happens because God is in basically in charge. So maybe you let people keep walking all over you before and hurting you. And this person probably did do a right number on you. But this is what unlocked the warrior in you. And then you ended up forgiving this person for sinning. You might have been a sinner before, I'm feeling. You needed to reject this person because they were selling you an illusion. I think that's what was unlocked um, inside you. And God is the person. God is who's doing this and has made this happen. Right, have we got any more angels? So I hope you're getting this, guys, because it's a bit um, it's a bit different just doing these cards rather than the little ones. But it makes a change, though, so you don't get... Oh, look how that's landed. They realise now that they had it all in the palm of their hands and they basically effed it off. So they know now they had everything in the palm of their hands when you they had you and they just basically effed you off. And now they're annoyed because they've rejected you and you've realised about this illusion. They know probably that you've forgiven them. That's probably what this person doesn't like. And that you've got blessings now coming upon blessings because you work with the Holy Father. And this person's now realising how spiritual you are. They know if it's working out in your favour. Oh, they do. Because you're loving and you've healed. So you had to walk away from this person, you did. Even though it hurt, you had to, you did. That's what, this needed to be unlocked inside you to know how strong you were and that you shouldn't put up with this. That's what I'm feeling. And you are better on your own. God knew you was better on your own and you would thrive better on your own. And you can live a carefree life. You're better off living a carefree life and you are. I feel you get on a lot better. And all this person does is just crave low vibing like energies because they know if they're in lower vibing energies, yeah, these people believe everything they say. They might be a bit slow. They'll agree with everything they say, everything they do. And they just probably just as low vibing as them. 
So they're like, oh, okay, then you can cheat on me. You can be with loads of other women. They probably they probably don't even have a choice to say anything about this because they're so low-vibing low energies. Yeah, see, look, find happiness in the misery they created for you is so annoying. So you finding happiness now in the misery that this person wanted you in misery, yeah, that they created this misery, now it's annoying them that you're you're finding happiness and that you're happy. That's what's annoying this person, that you're not in a low vibing energy anymore. And you've, through being on your own and living a carefree life, you've managed now to like make things work in your favour. You've still got a loving heart. You're still healing. And God is protecting you, and he is. And people know how beautiful and kind you are, and they know how loving you are. This person knows how loving you are. This person knows, because this person knows that you did all the work before, that's why. Right, let's have a little shuffle out of these little ones for a minute, and then I'm going to wrap it up, and we'll see. Right, what we're going to get out of this angels. Let's just have a couple of cards. Right, it's time for you now, guys, and it is. This is all about you and spending time on yourself, because now you are better on your own, and you are. Even if it doesn't feel like it, you are. Yeah, you're constantly going into a better person on your own. And they didn't outsmart you. No, they didn't. This person thought they was going to outsmart you. And you're constantly growing. And you are. Because now you're growing. Because you're taking more time for yourself. Loving yourself. Looking after yourself. And they didn't outsmart you. No, this person really thought they were quite smart. And you are constantly growing. And you are becoming better and better every day. Because you see the beauty now in all the smallest things in life it might have changed you like this because now yeah what did i say look you didn't know how strong you were you didn't you did not know how strong you were until you had no other choice that is why god made this choice and you dodged a bullet with this person and you did yeah because you detected their lies you knew this person was lying and now this person thought they was all high and mighty and now the mighty are falling because how the mighty fall thought they was actually better than you. They thought they could tell lies and just like sell you an illusion and they thought they was better than you and now they're falling. Yeah, how the mighty fall, eh? You could have been going through this from one to three years. So you could have might, like you could have might have, I mean you might have had to have been like a detective or you might have even got a private investigator, or you might have just done it yourself. But I feel like you had to detect this person's lies to find out who this person was. Yeah, you don't linger no more in this dark place. No, you don't. Because there's no help for you where this person is or people. There's not. And this person now is suffering behind the scenes because this, pe this person, I was going to say people, likes lingering in dark places with dark people. And they thought they was actually better off in a dark place than with you. Well, now they're all falling now, guys. And they are. Because they're now where they put you. They're exactly where they wanted you. That's where they are now. So I wouldn't feel sorry for this person. Yeah, look, delusional. I knew that was going to come out. This person is delusional. This person's probably more delusional now than they were before. This person might have wanted you pregnant. That they might have wanted you pregnant or they might want someone pregnant. They might have got someone pregnant and now they're stuck. Because they might have wanted you pregnant and stuck. And now they're stuck with someone who may be pregnant, I'm feeling. So now they're where they put you. So they wanted you stuck and grounding. I think this person might have got some psycho pregnant where they might be stuck with this person now. Yeah, this person knows they've done too much for you to forgive them. They know. They know walking away from you and leaving you was too much. Even cheating on you and um, having SEX with other people and ignoring you, stealing from you, probably abusing you and betraying you time and time again. This person knows they've done too much and this person knows that you're a very strong person and you're a very strong person on your own as an individual. And you are. This person knows you're strong. I feel this person's a bit frightened of you. That's why they're not approaching you. Yeah, look, pay attention to your finances. Somebody wants to know about your finances because someone knows that you're celebrating good times. This person's feeling very confused about this situation. They're feeling confused 
Why are you coming into money? Why are you getting finances? This person may be finances mad and they're just confused about the fact that they don't know anything about your finances I'm getting because this person went rummaging through before. Now they can't get access to your bank account. They can't check through your personal stuff and that's what's confusing this person. But you need to pay attention to your finances. I think this person needs to pay attention to their finances now. And that's what's confusing this person. They might not have had to have worried about finances before. Now they have to. They might need to worry because they got someone pregnant. Might actually take their money. But this is what they wanted for you. They wanted you trapped and stuck. And they were all celebrating good times. And now you're celebrating good times and you are. Because you're not stuck. You might be able to celebrate more now because you've got better finances than what you had with this person. Right, let's just have one more and then I will whoa, wrap it up. Right, yeah, don't be scared, guys, of the unknown because it's going to be beautiful, your future is, and it is. You need to start wearing bright colours or you might like bright colour clothes or you might just feel like everything is brighter now. You probably feel much more happier. But you, I think you're starting to wear brighter colours. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you wore quite a lot of dark stuff or black stuff. But don't be scared of the unknown. Even if you are, it's going to be fine. Because your, your future is going to be beautiful and bright and full of colours and wonderful things. And it is. Because you're being your own best friend, darling. That's why. Yeah, how the mighty fall. Because this person's falling now because they're still lingering in dark places. And they're all suffering. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you've improved your life now and you are, if you're not, you are, and you have increased your motiv motivation now. This person might not have made you feel very motivated and now you do, you feel more motivated. And I like that. Right guys, I'm going to leave it there. And thanks for coming to my channel, channel. And I will be back on in the morning and thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscriptions and all, ah, look what's on the top. Fake twin flame. Oh dear. It's a fake twin flame, guys. This could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a fake twin flame. So this is somebody that's supposed to come through on many lifetimes and try and destroy you. I think this person's realising now that through them being fake that they lost their twin flame I'm getting. We haven't had twin flame come up quite a lot, but I feel that this person, you might have told this person that they was your twin flame, and now they know through being fake, they've lost their twin flame. And I think this has set a little fire underneath their bottom. And I do. Yeah, you had to go through blood, sweat and tears, you did, with this person, with this fake twin flame. I think this person was your twin flame, but they started acting fake. Well, this person's got nothing but a life of struggle now, guys, for being fake. Nothing but a life of struggle. And I'm going really cold saying that. So this person's really going to struggle because they actually lost someone like you that was a chosen one and that you're run by God and you're very spiritual. I'm being guided to do you another card. But whoa. Yeah, someone's trying to come up with a new plan because they know that you're a chosen one or they should have chosen you. You were the one. So this person might be coming up with a new plan now. Because they know now that they can't replace all this now. And they feel very sad. They should have been thankful for what they had and been grateful. But they wasn't. Not at all. Because they were fake. Nothing but fake, this person. And they know you're very resilient. They do. And you're just building a better life for yourself. And you are. And just move on, guys. And be happy, alright? So I'll see you soon. Have a good evening. Sleep well, guys. And God bless you, okay? And thank you for your donations. And I do love you. And I'll read all your messages. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow, okay? Namaste. Mwah. Adios, amigos.